Hey friend, Jen here, welcome back. Today we've got a lower body workout in store. It's gonna be really fun. I have some different exercises for us to do together. Before we get into it today though, I wanna make sure you have everything that you need. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you have some shoes for some good foot support. You're gonna want a set of dumbbells, you know, moderate weight, nothing too crazy. And then if possible, it's not mandatory, but if you have one available, go ahead and grab your rounded glute band or your rounded band. We're gonna be using this in certain exercises today but again like I said if you don't have one totally fine it's not a mandatory thing you'll still be able to get some great benefit out of the workout for today and most importantly make sure that you have some water available to you I'm gonna be giving us water breaks but if you have all of those things ready to go let's dive right into it Alrighty, so for our warm up today, we are going to be doing four different mobility warm up cardio exercises. We're going to be doing each for 45 seconds with about 10 seconds transition time, three rounds total. I'm going to start the timer. We're going to go through one exercise at a time. And then as you go, you're going to get a little bit more confident and you're going to start to remember some of these exercises. So let's go ahead. I'm going to start the timer here. We're going to, it's going to count us down from 10. First exercise that we are doing is a jumping jack. This is gonna get our hearts rates nice and high. This is gonna warm us up really quickly here. So right into it. 45 seconds of jumping jacks. Now because this is our first exercise, don't be afraid to just take it slow. We're just warming up here. Okay, if this is too intense, if jumping is too much for you, you can always take it down to a step and keep on moving. I'm gonna turn up my timer here. So it's nice and loud. Let's keep going, guys. 10 seconds. Keep it coming. Good, take 10 seconds. Then we are moving to a side lunge with a pulse. So legs are gonna be wider than shoulder width apart, quite wide, toes are forward. We're leaning into one side. You're gonna come up, oh, and we're doing a pulse. Bringing it back to standing. Bend to one side, come up for a pulse, so we're not going all the way up, and bring it back. Alternating sides as we do this. Feet don't need to move. All of the motion is happening in our knees, and our hips. Halfway there. Take a look at where your toes are here. We wanna make sure that they are forward and not pressed out. 10 seconds. Keep it up. Rest. Good, this is where you'll want your band. Again, if you don't have it, totally fine. You're just going to mimic the movement without the band. So band comes over top of knees, feet shoulder width apart, we're bending. We are doing a side shuffle. So keep in mind, if you didn't have the band here, that's fine. You're just mimicking the movement without the band. Staying nice and low as we do this, we should start to feel this warm up our glutes. Pretty good. Halfway there. As we get tired here, we have a tendency to start standing up. We want to make sure you stay nice and low. Ten seconds. Keep it up. You got this. Should be feeling pretty warm by now. I know I am. Good. We're going to scooch that off fairly quick. We'll come back to that, so keep it close by. We're going to do hamstring swoops now. So feet shoulder width apart. We are bringing out one leg, bending through the back knee, scooping forward. We should feel a nice stretch between the backs of the leg. You might feel it more in one, specifically the one that is straight, but this is a great stretch for our posterior chain. Alternating side. Halfway there. Keeping back flats, we're not rounding to reach. We're keeping shoulders back. Ten seconds. Rest. 
Good, shake that off. We got 10 seconds. We are starting back at the top with our jumping jacks, okay? Those are the four. We just gotta get through two more rounds of those. Right into our jumping jacks, let's go. Set your intention here. Focus your breath. What kind of energy are you going to bring today? Is it gonna be positive? Is it gonna be negative? I sure hope you pick the first one. Halfway there. Keep it up, again. If it's a lot, you need to take a breather. Take it down a notch, that's fine. And then get back into it when you can. 10 seconds. Rest. Good, shake that out. We are now doing our side lunge with our pulse. One thing I want you to keep note of this time, really watch that those toes come forward. The knee stays over top of the foot. We pulse up, we bring it back. Lunge, pulse, bring it back. Core nice and tight, back nice and straight. Keep it up. Halfway there. I'm feeling a little bit of a burn now. Let's make sure Ten we're seconds. not driving into that knee, but that the bend is happening through our hips. Rest. Good, shake it out, grab that bend pretty quick. We are doing our side shuffles with or without the band, whatever you have available, whatever feels right for you. Nice and low, pulling through the knee, using our glutes. Staying nice and low, core nice and tight here. You now if you start to feel it in your back, just stand up for a sec, shake it out, set that intention again with core nice and strong. Halfway there. Keep going. I'm gonna move my weight so I can get a little bit further. Ten seconds. Keep it up. Good, shake that off. We got our hamstring swoops and then we're done round two of our warm up. Feet, shoulder width apart. We bring out one foot, scooping down. Back stays flat, pressing through that hip so we get a nice stretch through our hamstring. Focusing on our breath here. Nice and level, nice and even. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Keep it up, looks great. Good, shake that off. How's the body feeling so far? Are we getting a little bit more warm? Are we feeling a little looser? Awesome job. We have one last round for our warm up, then we can take a little breather, grab a drink. Let's go. Jumping into our jumping jacks. Core nice and tight as we do this. Again, if you need to take it down a notch, if it's feeling a little too much, or maybe the jumping's just not in the cards for you, that's okay too. We Ten just seconds. take it to a side shuffle with our arms. Okay, take a breather. Then we are moving to our side lunge with our pulse. My mat is going crazy. Legs wide. Leaning into one side, coming up for a pulse, bring it back. So that pulse is just like a little half movement. It's nothing major. 
Back stays nice and flat as we do this. We're not reaching forward. Chest stays outright. Halfway there. Pushing those hips to the back wall. Ten seconds. Almost there. Shake out those toes. You need to. I'm getting some serious foot cramps. Good, shake it out guys. We have our shuffles. 10 seconds here. It goes by quick. Above the knees. Let's go. Here we go. Bending, shuffle. Nice and low, using our glutes in this movement. Keep it up. We're gonna get in a sweat. This is good. 10 seconds. Almost there. Woo -wee. Hamstring swings. We are swoops. We've got one last round here. Then you get a nice breather before we get started with the work of today. One leg at a time, scooping forward, getting a nice stretch through the back of the leg. Keeping in mind that that back leg is gonna be bent with a supporting leg. Or nice and tight. Halfway there. that out nicely done guys we should be feeling really warm really ready to go go ahead grab a drink catch your breath and then I'm gonna explain what we're gonna start off with today Alrighty. so for today what we're gonna do is just one exercise at a time we're gonna put all our intention all our focus on one exercise it's gonna be three rounds total 45 seconds of work with about 15 seconds of rest. We're gonna go through those three rounds pretty quickly, not taking too long of rest. And then once we're finished the three, we'll take a longer breather before we move on to the next. So keep in mind, you're gonna want your band close by. You may, you'll want your weights here for sure. I'm gonna start the timer. We are starting with a goblet squat. I'm gonna show you two variations. The first one will be with that band. Again, if you don't have it though, no stress there. We're gonna count us down from 10. You're gonna want that band above the knees, grabbing your weights, holding them at about shoulder level. Feet are gonna be slightly wider than shoulder width apart, ankles in. We are squatting down using the band. This is gonna add a little bit more tension to our glutes. Back stays nice and flat, holding the weight at collarbone. Okay, so this is the exercise we are doing now for the next three rounds. Squeezing our glutes at the top, Core nice and tight at the bottom. Halfway there. It stays fairly neutral here. If you can't squat this low, that is fine. You go for what makes the most sense for you. 10 seconds. Focus on your breathing. Good, that's what we got. Now I'm gonna show it without the band. For you, for those that are using the band, go ahead, keep it on. Ah! But for those who don't have it, I just want to show you what it looks like without. Again, feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly wider, toes slightly out, weight at our shoulders, squatting down. Both options work. Again, if you can't go that low, totally fine. If it's only there, that's still valid. If we're all the way down, still valid. Keep in mind what your knees are doing here too. Are they staying over your toes or are they caving in and out? Let's try and keep them in line. Ten seconds. 
Keep it up. Good, shake it off. You got 10 or 15 seconds here. We got one last round of this and then we're done this exercise for the day. Pretty good, hey? We're moving on then after that. One last round here. I've added the band again. At our shoulders, squatting down. Core nice and tight. We are focusing on our breathing here. If you have the band, you're gonna feel a bit more tension as your knees move out. That's okay. Don't let the band let your knees cave in. Halfway there. Keep it up. Big squeeze to the seconds. glutes, keeping the weight in our heels. Our heels should not lift off the floor. Nice job. Nicely done. That's our three rounds. Take off your band, grab a drink, take a breather, then we're moving into the next one. Same kind of concept for our next exercise, but we're gonna actually do four rounds and you'll see why, because it's one side at a time. So we wanna make sure that each side gets two rounds. Give yourself a few seconds. If you need more rest than I give you, by all means, pause the video. That's okay too. The next exercise we're doing can be a little bit tricky, but I'm gonna walk you through it. It's gonna be a single leg, stiff legged deadlift. So what we're gonna do, I just wanna show before we get into it, is I want you to make sure you know if you have a wall somewhere, you have somewhere that you can reach, because that might really help in terms of your form. So we're gonna start on one leg. Like I said, we're gonna do one side at a time. We're putting all of our weight onto one leg bending through that leg. So it's our supporting leg and it's bent. It's a soft knee. Chest is gonna stay upright, back nice and flat, reaching forward, okay? Notice that back and foot are completely level. So if we find our upper body is dropping too much or our back leg can't get up as high, we want everything to stay parallel. So even if you're only going this far, you're staying parallel. If you can go all the way neutral, that's great too. Halfway there. Okay? Now I didn't show with the weight strategically just so you could get a feel for it, but sometimes people do find that having a weight can actually balance them out a little bit better. So you're free Ten to choose seconds. what works best for you. Core nice and tight as we do this, squeezing through our shoulders. Rest. Good. Switching sides. I'm gonna keep the weight for the whole time. It seems to balance me out a bit better. But you choose what makes sense for you. Again, bending through that supporting leg so we can really activate that hamstring. Let's go. Only bringing the leg as high as the upper body can match. Okay, if you have a mirror, this might also be a good opportunity to just check where you're at. Is your body staying nice and flat? Because if it's not, then we take down that range of motion. We don't go as far. Halfway there. This is also especially challenging if you have balance issues. So you don't need to go zero to 100 here. Go what makes sense for you. You are learning this movement. 10 seconds. As you get better, it'll become more easy. And you can always come back and try this workout again and see how you improve. Rest. Good, take a few seconds here. We are switching back to that first leg. We have two rounds on each leg, four rounds in total. Shoulders back, core tight. Take a little breather here. Let's go. You might notice that one side feels stronger than the other. That is the case for me. This side feels quite a bit stronger or just more balanced. You might find that it's your more dominant side. Shoulders back. Halfway there. Head stays neutral. Chin tucked in. 10 seconds. Good. One last time on that other side and then we are done with this exercise. Maybe you love it, maybe you hate it. Whatever it is, let's finish strong. Last round. Good. 
Keep it up. Remember, we are not locking out the knee, so make sure there's a soft bend there. You might find it helpful to look at a specific spot. I know that helps me. Halfway there. Keeps me balanced. Ooh, this side is... 10 seconds. Shake it out to take a breather. Give yourself a little bit of time. Done there, moving on. How are you feeling? Check in with yourself here. Are you feeling tired? Are you feeling worked? Are you feeling ready to keep going? Whatever it is, awesome job. Okay, we are doing three rounds for the next one and it's gonna alternate between two different types of exercises. So the first one is going to be a jump squat. Okay, I'll show you that. The second round we do it is just going to be body weight squat, a little bit of an active recovery. And then the third round again, we're gonna, I'm gonna let you decide. Do what makes sense for you, whether that's a jump squat or a body weight squat. Three rounds here, 45 seconds, 15 seconds rest. Starting down from 10. Hey, we're starting with feet shoulder width apart. Toes are forward. We squat down. Pressing up. Soft landing in the feet before we explode back up. Bending through the legs. Keep it up. If you're like, oh my goodness, Jen, as if I'm gonna do this for 45 seconds, take a little breather. Catch your breath. Jump back into it. These are tough for me too. I'm right here with you. Woo I'm glad those are over. Take 15 seconds, then we're just doing body weight squats. Okay, a little bit of an active recovery here, which I know I'm thankful for. Feet shoulder width apart, just squatting down. No jump here. Back stays nice and flat. Hips come back. Taking breathers as you need to. Halfway there. Focusing on your breath here, we want to let you come down before we jump back in Ten to seconds. those jump squats. <laughs> Good, shake it out. Okay, guys, focus here. One round of jump squats, then we're moving on. We don't have to come back to this. Take your breather. Again, I did say, you can pick here. So depending on what you're feeling right now, do what makes sense for you. Mine might end up being a little bit of a combination of the two, but I just want you to keep moving here. Again, if you need to, shake it out. Give yourself a few seconds, or if you need to do a combination of the two. Way there. Where you do a few body weight squats, and you do a few jump squats. That works too. That seems to be the Ten approach seconds. that my body is liking today. 10 seconds though, let's finish strong. Nice job, take a breather, let yourself come down, grab a drink, and we're gonna move on. How you feeling? I'm getting sweaty. Take a couple more seconds. The next round is going to be four rounds, because again, we're doing a single side at a time, and we're actually gonna be on the ground. So make sure you let yourself come down here a little bit more before we're right on the ground. It is going to be an alternating single leg glute bridge. So coming down to the ground, 
Give yourself a few seconds to come here, alternating one side to the other. So two, each side gets two rounds. I'm gonna start the timer. We got 45 seconds on each side. Lying on your back here, legs are gonna come, feet, heels are gonna come nice and close to our glutes, shifting to one side, lifting up as high as you can go. If you can't go super high, that's okay. You'll find as you get stronger here Halfway that your there. range of motion will increase. Now this is a little lighter now on our bodies. It might feel still really challenging, but it shouldn't feel too as crazy as maybe those jump Ten squats. Seconds. So let yourself come down here, catch your breath. Good, take 15 seconds and we are switching sides. The leg that's not working can either be up, bench, really whatever feels comfortable, so long as that foot is not on the ground. Let's Here we go. Round two, other side. You might find that one side feels different than the other, depending on if you have any kind of injuries or muscle imbalances, that would make sense. Even if they're old injuries, our body tends to compensate over time to try and protect what's happened. So just meet yourself where you're at. Halfway there. Squeezing through that glute, trying to get our hips as high as they will go. Ten seconds. Good, take 15 seconds. We got one last round on either side. I wanna tell you something, you're doing awesome. And hey, we're getting kinda of close to the end. So stick with me here. Other side. Let's go. Focusing on our breath here. This movement is small, but it can be mighty. If this is feeling too easy for you, you're always welcome to, to put a weight on your hips. Add a little bit of tension. Halfway there. <sighs> 10 seconds. Doing great. Take a breather. One last round here. We are doing good. My quads are feeling amazing. And I'm sweaty. Here we go. Right here with you guys. Keep it up with me, guys. Try not to cheat those hips. Get them as high as they'll go. We're really squeezing through that glute. 10 seconds. Woohoo! Nicely done. Come on up. Grab a drink. Take a breather. We have one last exercise here, guys. So give yourself a little bit of time and then we're gonna finish off with our last exercise for the day. Alrighty, one last exercise. Again, we're gonna kind of alternate between two. So it's gonna be a calf raise and then it's gonna be a toe raise. Cause so oftentimes our calves get really tight. We don't strengthen the muscles at the front of our shins and then we get things like shin splints. So we wanna make sure we're nice and balanced here. Setting our timer. If you need more of a breather, by all means take it. You can always pause me anytime. I'm not offended. But you gotta finish strong with me. Okay, we're gonna be feet shoulder width apart. You can choose weights here or not. I'm gonna go for weights here just cause I want a little bit more. Weights are gonna be out in front 
feet shoulder width apart, we're just rising to toes, okay? Now I want you to really try and focus on making that lower nice and slow and controlled. Getting up to the toes can be relatively quick, but we want the lower to be slow. 45 seconds here. Halfway there. Keep it up, shoulders are back here. Next one we're gonna do, we're gonna shift our weight to our heels here. The weights in the front might just balance you out a little bit because we don't want butt sticking out too far here. Feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. Now instead of pressing to the toe, we are lifting the toe, okay? This is not gonna be a massive movement, but we are working the front of the shins here. Okay, so weight comes back, lifting through the toes. Again, we don't wanna focus on bending too much because then we're missing the point. It's okay if it comes back a little bit, but we still want the majority of the motion coming from the front of our toes. And depending on the strength level here Half and the range here. of motion level, you might find you don't have a ton and that's okay. If you need to, you can always do one side at a time and alternate and you might find that you feel it a little bit more. 10 seconds. Or if you find that you're just struggling with balance, definitely do that alternating side. Even for myself, I'm feeling it a little bit more in that option. Take a breather guys, we are almost done. One last round of calf raises and then we are stretching out. So stick with me here. I'm feeling real good. Here we go. Up on the toe again, slow on the lower. Core nice and tight. Nice job, guys. Take a breather, stretch out. How you feeling? At the end of all of this, how you feeling? You're still here with me. Awesome job. All right, as we let ourselves cool down now, we are going to stretch out, stretch out our lower body. It's done a lot of good things for us today. So we wanna make sure that we cool it down properly. First thing we're gonna do is a quad stretch. Now, if you need a wall, by all means take it. If you have good balance, that works too. Bringing up the back leg, squeezing through the glutes, trying to push that pelvis out so we get a nice stretch across the front of the leg. Keep it up. What's one thing you can celebrate today that was really hard or that you felt really like a rock star at? What can you think of right now? Good. Switch sides. Squeezing those glutes, you'll feel it more if that whole torso is neutral. Good, we're gonna come on down to the ground. We're gonna do a pike stretch here. So feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. Actually fairly close here, legs together, ankles together. <sighs> nice upright posture as we do this, reaching forward. If you can't touch your toes, that is fine. If you are right here, but you feel a nice stretch behind the back of the leg, and you're at the right spot. Trying to keep our knees on the ground. So if you find you're like really hunched this way, just come up a little bit. And you're gonna then flex one foot. If you can reach for the toe, that's great. You should feel this more now in your calf.
Good, switch sides. All right, let's go ahead and do a glute stretch now. You're gonna cross one leg over the top of the knee. Hands are gonna support behind, bringing up the leg. We should feel this in our glutes. Okay, if you find that this is really tight and you're only here, that's fine too. If you find you're like really flexible, you can always bring the heels closer to the glutes and you might find you feel it a bit more. Chest nice and upward as we do this. Not hunching. Good, let's switch sides. Bring that leg across, lifting up. Bring that out, that should feel like a really nice stretch. We're gonna come up to standing for our last stretch of the day. Legs are gonna be wider than shoulder width apart, similar to how we started here, reaching forward. You know, if you don't have the flexibility here, you can bend through the legs or keep the legs straight and get yourself some kind of object that you can basically put your hands on, okay? Legs wide, leaning into one knee, and then I want you to lift the toe of the leg that is straight. Should feel it a little bit more through the groin all the way down. And if you don't need the ball or whatever object you have, you can put your legs down or your hands down. Good, switch sides. So just so you can see from the front, one leg is bent, one leg is straight. The leg that is straight, toe is up. Good, bring it back to center. Shake both legs out a little bit. Good, bending through the legs, coming up as much as it makes sense for you. Gentle on that back. Woo, awesome job. I am so proud of you. Thanks for sticking it out with me. Hey, if you like today's workout, let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, do what you need to to let me know that you want more of this. I'm so glad that you joined me today and I'm excited to see you in the next workout. Good job.